We'll be setting up everything we need to create a Discord bot in this video. We'll be going all the way from creating a Discord application to a simple working Discord bot that responds to messages. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Before we start, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. The first step is to make sure you have a Discord server where you can test the bot. So here on Discord, just click this plus sign to add one. I'm not going to do that though because I already have one up here called Bot Tests. The second step is to create a Discord bot application on Discord's developer portal. So here on this website, which I'll link in the description, we need to go to the applications at the top left and then at the top right, click new application. Call it whatever you want, I'll call mine tutorial bot. You can then fill in this info if you want, but after that we need to go to the bot here at the left. And then to the right, we need to add a new bot. Click yes to do it. You can choose to fill in some more information here if you want, but down here just click on administrator to give the bot administrator permissions. Also up here again, where it says token, we're gonna need to use this token later. So make sure to keep this Discord developer portal open in your browser. But for now, here where it says OAuth2, just click it. And then below it, click URL generator. Here in the scopes, we need to click on bot, then scroll down and click on administrator. What all this will do is it will generate a link down here and we will use this link to connect the bot to the server that we want to put it on. So let's copy this link, open a new tab and then paste it here. Then press enter. You will now need to choose the server you want the bot on. So I'll click select a server and then just choose the server you want to test the bot on. Then click continue, then authorize, then confirm you're a human. After this is done, you can close this tab. And if you quickly go into Discord, you can see that the bot has now joined the server. It's also part of the members list and has a Discord bot tag. The next step is to quickly go back into the developer portal and go back to the bot section. We then need to copy this token here because we'll be using it to send code to this bot so that it knows what actions to perform. Now now it's important for you to know that nobody else is allowed to see this token. Otherwise those who have the token will be able to write their own code for your bot. So just keep this token to yourself. For the sake of the tutorial though I'll be showing mine because I'll be deleting this bot after the tutorial. So just make sure to copy this. The next step is to create a Python project. So make sure that you have Python installed on your computer. I'll also be using Visual Studio Code to write all our code in. If you don't have Python downloaded I have a tutorial for setting all that up here at the top right of the screen or in the description of this video. So let's go to the left here and click create new file then we can call this my discord bot.py. Just make sure not to call this discord.py otherwise we might have conflicts in our code later. Now we need to install some python libraries that we'll be using, specifically the discord library which will give us access to a really easy way of using the discord api in order to write our discord bot. So we need to open either command prompt if you're on windows or a terminal if you're on mac. But the nice thing with visual studio code is that you can click this here at the bottom left and then here in terminal we can just type pip install discord. If you're using command prompt or a terminal outside of VS code then you can type the exact same command and it should start downloading discord.py. After that's done installing we can go back into our python script and type import discord. Right underneath it we can type token equals and then we can type two quotation marks and paste our token inside of the quotations. We'll be using this token to connect to our bot. We then need to create a client instance by typing discord.client. Make sure that the c here is a capital letter. This client instance will be used to interact with the discord api. Now discord bots work by using events and what these events do is they wait for something to happen in the discord server and once that certain something happens your bot will respond to it. This includes your bot waiting for messages being sent, waiting for users to join or leave and so much more. So for example there's an event that waits for the bot to come online and we can type this event like this at client dot event. This at here just means that this is a decorator function. Right underneath this decorator we'll be using the actual function so just type async def on ready. This function needs to be called on ready because it is reserved by discord and so underneath the function press tab to get inside of the function and then we type print and we'll be printing an f string so type f and then quotation marks next to it in the quotation marks type bot logged in as client dot user then here at the start of client use an open curly bracket and then here at the end of user use a closed curly bracket what this whole piece of code will do is listen and check if the bot is online and once it is it will print this into the console this client dot user will represent the username of our bot Outside of the function we can type client.run and in the brackets type token. This will run our bot once we run the code. We can now actually run our code and then if we wait and check the terminal we should eventually see text that says bot logged in as and then the username of your bot. Which means your bot is now online so if we quickly go into discord we can see that the bot is indeed online. Back in our code we can just kill the terminal here. Don't worry if it still says your bot is online on discord. That's normal. The last thing I want to show you in this tutorial is how to say hi to the bot and then have the bot say 
say hi back. We now need to create another client event exactly as we did up here. So client.event and then underneath here we need to use another function but this one has to be called on message and this event will listen to all messages sent on the server. So whenever someone sends a message on the discord server this function will pick it up. Inside of the brackets you can type msg and this will represent the discord message that the bot has detected. The message will be stored in this msg variable. Now we need to check if the author of the message is not the bot otherwise there's a chance that the bot will detect and respond to its own messages thus creating an infinite loop where your bot endlessly replies to itself. So this line of code if msg.author is not equal to client.user ensures that the bot doesn't listen to its own messages and only the messages of other users on the discord server. Underneath it we can type if msg.content.lower.starts with and then inside the brackets here we need to pass a string of the message that the bot should look for. So usually bots use symbols at the start of the message so in our case I'll use a question mark and then next to this you need to type the actual command so I'll just type hi. This whole line of code will check if one of the users on the discord server has typed hi and if they have typed hi then we can reply to them. So once again underneath this if statement we can type what should happen if the user has typed hi. So we type await msg.channel Dot send. And then in these brackets here, we type the message that the bot should send to the channel where the user's greeting was originally found. So in my case, I'll use another F string, and in this F string, I'll type hi, and then curly brackets msg.author.display underscore name. This will say hi to the specific user who said hi to the bot in the first place. If we now run the bot, wait for the login message, and then go back to Discord, we can type question mark hi and then the bot should respond back to us and say hi and also use our specific username. In future tutorials I'll be showing you how to create a discord music bot as well as a simple discord moderation bot and some other basic features that might help you along the way. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video to see those. For now you can check out discord's documentation and it lists everything you can do with the bot including the rest of the events and not just the two I showed you in this video. The link will be in the description. Other than that I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I also hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.